Hey everyone, I'm Ish Shah, AI strategist at Dell Technologies, and I'm back with you again today to go over another exciting AI recipe for your Dell AI PC. I'm joined today by one of our good friends from NVIDIA, Travis Wells. Travis is a global account manager at NVIDIA. Welcome, Travis, good Thank to have you. you. Thank you. Thanks, Ish, for having me. Very excited to be here today. Absolutely, it's gonna be a good time. Uh, today, we're gonna serve up a Retrieval Augmented Generation, or RAG, app using your Dell AI PC. Now, let's take a look at our ingredient list before we begin. What you'll need is an application called NVIDIA Chat RTX, which I'll show you how to download for free in just a minute, and a Dell Pro Max AI PC that has any NVIDIA RTX GPU, at least eight gigs of VRAM recommended, 16 gigabytes or more regular RAM recommended, and the Windows 11 operating system. Now, Dell Pro Max AI PCs are packed with NVIDIA RTX GPUs. They're intended to handle AI tasks in addition to those graphics tasks that they've traditionally handled, such as now generative AI and deep learning, and they aim to make that easier, and they allow you to do things fast, secure, and on your local device, allowing you to build and test privately. And when we think about why one might run AI workloads locally, we always come back to kind of that AI PC abbreviation, accelerated, individualized, private, and cost-effective. All reasons that you might want to do this on your device, whether it's RAG or something beyond it. Uh, Travis, I'll hand it over to you to get us started. Yeah, absolutely. So first things first, you're gonna to need to download the NVIDIA Chat RTX by following the URL that's on the screen. This link is also available in the description of this video. The file size is approximately 11 gigabytes, so make sure you have a stable internet connection and a little bit of time. Once your download is complete, extract the contents from the zip file and double-click the setup.exe file to launch the installer. To verify that you have the GPU required to continue, the installer will then check your system for compatibility. If everything checks out, you can then choose an installation folder and continue through the prompts. After installation, double-click the desktop icon to launch ChatRTX. The application will open in your default web browser and a Windows command prompt will also appear to display any relevant display error logs. Okay, now that you've kind of got the bones in the platform down, you're gonna add a large language model, pretty important as far as generative AI is concerned. Uh, up here, you're gonna see this drop down, and it's gonna open up this menu on the right hand side. And again, there's a right model for a right use case, right? Like there's not gonna be one thing that works for everyone and everything you're trying to do, but we're gonna use one here, the Mistral 7B in four, in four referencing its level of quantization or compression. But we've found that this is a pretty good model for the thing that we're working on. So it's it's already pulled down, it's already installed, that's what we're gonna use. Now, you're gonna want to, just a note of caution, make sure you're not using an AI model default that's in here. You're gonna actually wanna pick a model and click it and see that little green check mark, make sure it's downloaded. So now we're at the point where we need to mix in our data set. So to do this, you're gonna to need to prepare a folder containing those documents you wanna use as your knowledge base. ChatRTX supports several different file formats, which includes various text-based and graphics files. Once you've compiled all your documents into one place, you'll want to go into the Chat RTX interface and locate the option to select that dataset folder. Choose the right folder and give Chat RTX a few seconds to process and load those files into its library. And then finally, it's time for your taste. I mean, your test. Stop it. Now use the chat interface to start asking questions. Chat RTX will use a retrieval augmented generation technique to search through your loaded documents and generate responses based on the information it finds. So what I'm doing here is I've read in our information in our downloads folder, I've created a folder called RAG and inside of it live a bunch of PDFs that we pulled off of the Dell website. And I'm asking it here, based on your knowledge, why might one use a Dell AI PC to run generative AI workloads? So now it's gonna look at the vector store that it created using an embeddings model that it ran all those PDFs through. And it's gonna look for the things that are most relevant to the question I asked. And in fact, it's even citing its sources. So one might use a Dell AI PC to run generative AI workloads because it's designed and configured to meet those workload needs. It's high performance. Additionally, it has a GPU system. So it's hitting on a lot of the things one might think of when they think of, okay, I'm gonna run something locally. Okay, well, if you got a GPU, that's gonna make it a lot easier. Those are definitely the benefits. Yeah, absolutely. So that's all for this time. Nice, quick, easy recipe for how to build a RAG app from Travis and myself. Thank you so much for joining us. This is Ish Shah signing off. Travis Wells, thank you. See you next time.